Hey guys, it's Christian, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. Today we, well, last time we actually finished up the Chapter 1 boss, the Koopa Bros. They weren't that tough, and uh, now we're having a little cutscene with Princess Peach here. Uh, she is worrying about us like usual. And she's getting a little positive reinforcement from Twink, and she says she has to, like, help us out in some way. And the minister told her that there was a secret path, a secret passage out of this room at some somewhere. Uh, something behind this drawing. Yeah, I kind of know where it is, and I didn't really care to pretend to not know where it was. So <laughs> the little railing falls there, falls there, and uh, dissolves into charcoal. It's pretty great. We're gonna move on through this little secret candlelit hallway into like this little turning thing when we press the button it's like oh and yeah it kind of turns and now we're kind of in another room completely where are we that's a good question um so now we can go and explore the floor. Right, there's a book over here and if we go over to the door it says looks like it's locked oh no we can't get out well what if I want to just okay we can't even press the button so we really are trapped in here I guess that leaves us no other choice but to read the book hey look at this it looks like somebody left a private diary um I'm <laughs> well I mean it doesn't really matter what it cho what I choose now does it read or only a little we're gonna read it uh very quietly I like how twink is like ashamed of us even though he was the one asking He's like tisk tisk yeah, yeah, dinner was nice, but a bit bland. Dot, dot, dot. Read, or only a little more, I guess we'll just read. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. So it was great. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle out of the ground, and I beat up Mario. Oh man, I wonder who this could be, whose diary this could belong to. Dot, 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 exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark! Yeah. And now we actually get a choice of reading or don't reading, but we're gonna read because, you know, you're supposed to. Koopa Bros got beaten up by Mario. And he's kind of mocking Mario. And the Star Syrup being held at dry, dry ruins. He'd have to find the Mystery of the Sands and go to dry, dry desert. How would he even know to go to the desert anyways? And we're like, exclamation marks! Uh, and one of the star spirits is held in dry dry ruins in dry dry desert. So, Peach asks Twink to go and tell Mario about this, but Bowser kind of tromps in. He's like, oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out. Mm, it'd be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing, even though he's like, the room is probably like, uh, 10 feet long. You probably see the princess or whatever. Ah, you little sneak, you're in my diary. And the Koopa Trolls come in, they're like, King Bowser, is there a problem? I don't know why I gave the Koopa Troll a stutter, but... And they pick Princess Peach up. Like, I don't even know what kind of thing you'd carry like that. And Twink kind of is like, oh snap, I'm out. And he leaves as well. And so that was the little Princess Peach interlude thing. And now we come back to Mario and, uh, you know, Bombette. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. No problem, bro, it really wasn't hard. Uh, he gives us a special ability, go Super Saiyan! Yeah, not really. Uh, basically we can use Star Spirit's power and battle. It's like a kind of, almost like a magic attack. Uh, no, we're not going to... No, we do not want to listen. I know how to use it. It's fairly basic. Listen carefully. <laughs> listen carefully. Yeah, this is what happens when I record commentary at 1.30 a.m. Uh, the star beam happens, and the star beam can counteract the star rod, so we gotta get all the star spirits together so we can, you know... Go beat Bowser and stuff, and... Yeah. <laughs> so, now we are... Officially, well, 
quote unquote officially done with chapter one, so let's quickly save our game so we don't have to go through that cutscene in case something terribly wrong happens. And we can now blow this thing up because we have bombettes, and we can go in this pipe here. And when we go in this pipe, we go up to like this super high place that's like right above where we just were. And we can get a FP plus badge. I guess the only reason why you'd have the FP plus badges and like HP plus badges is because like then if you really needed some more FP, you could put it on and then take it off when you don't need it. And ow! For, oh. ah, ah. Well, I guess this is a good time to um show our new abilities, but actually we shouldn't do that now because I'm not even hurt at all. So let's bring out Cooper so he can do his super power shell thing on everyone in the ground. Take out both Goombas and hurt the Koopa just a little bit, but let's try and block that and hopefully block this as well. Oh, frick. Sometimes my, sometimes my timed hits are just so off. But oh well. So let's knock that guy down. Hit this guy. And block. Damn it. Come on. Alright, so we have this. Focus basically charges your star spirit, and refresh is basically just gives you 5 HP and 5 FP, and it's like a super basic heal attack kind of thing. Yeah. And you charge, you can charge your uh, star power in two ways. One, you can uh, use focus, which charges quite a bit. And two, if you get your timed hits correct, then you gain star stuff, as seen there. Star stuff. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. I can't even think of what the real name's called right now, but like spirit energy or something. That's probably not even close. But anyway, I'm gonna cut out when we're back at the Mushroom Kingdom. I'll see you guys in just a second. Yeah. Oh, actually, I just wanted to cut in here. Um, we gotta. We can now grab the star piece. Also, yeah. Now we're just about back at the Mushroom Kingdom, and what is this? Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Oh snap! It's Junior Trooper. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Dua, and he kind of completely misses us and falls in the water. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you this fight will be much different from before. Who is this crazy guy? What a nut. Shut up! <laughs> you remember me? Okay, yeah, let's be honest and say yes, we do remember you. That's right, darn tootin', I'm Junior Troopa. And he, you know, fights us again for the second time, but again, he's not all that tough. He's obviously tougher than before, but basically all we're going to have to do is just, uh, well, we're going to have to change to members because he has like an, an actual defensive one now, so if we want to actually do some damage, we're going to have to use Bomb a lot, and try and, oh yeah, he does two damage as, as well now, but again, that's not really too much of a de big deal here. Um, oh, oh yeah. yeah, we should probably heal FP. I think he has a defense of two, actually. Doesn't Bombette's attack do six, usually? Or am I just completely wrong? I don't know. Maybe I'm not remembering right. Dang it. Would you time a hit well? Oh, well, let's just try Hammer anyways, see if it works. I don't think it does, but... Oh, okay, it does. So I guess... Oh. Okay, he's not dead yet. I was like, wait, what? That was it? Uh, anyway. Yeah. I guess this is the... <laughs> if you want me to offer you any strategy tips against this guy, there aren't really any. It's basically just freaking keep hammering and bombing him until he dies. <laughs> that's all he is. He's just has a lot of health, one defense, and does two damage. That's it. And he has some cool music, but that was it, and I will gladly take those 20 star points. Yep. And we'll just talk to him. Ah, with his, like, super wavy, fancy text there. 
Alright, so now we're back in Toad Town and we can continue on even a little bit more. But first we have to be stopped by Twink so he can tell us, you know, actually where to go, because at this point Mario has no idea what to do. So Twink is telling us, I heard you saved the honorable Star Spirits. Bowser and the gang are so angry about it, I knew you could do it. We're like, well, thanks. Ah, shucks. And he has some important information. He's being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Some place called Dry Dry Ruins. And the princess quote-unquote braved the dangers of the castle. Not really, but anyways. At least we know where to go now, so... We're gonna want to get on the train to Dry Dry Desert, which is not that hard to find, but let's sleep first. Yeah! Let's take a nap. Did you sleep well? I sure did, Toad. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and quickly save our game. Save early and save often. That's number one rule of video gaming. Well, one of the number one rules of video gaming. I'm actually just gonna switch out my controller for a second here, because... Okay. I don't know. The controller I was using, the control stick was like a little bit loose and a little bit annoying as well, but... Hey, mister. My dad's opened his shop. Why don't you... Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. And at this point, I will say for sure, because seriously, seriously, this badge right here, the speedy spin badge, pretty much the most useful badge in the entire game. I, could, I, I don't think I could play this game without this badge. It pretty much, you know, does 9,999 damage to everyone. No, okay. Seriously, though, let's just quickly go and equip this. Uh, basically, all it does is make your, like, Zed spin on the, uh, in the field like longer as seen here so basically I'm not as slow anymore and that's like oh thank god <laughs> so we're just gonna continually spin yeah there's a lot of other stuff I could be doing in Toe Town right now but we're just gonna move on because I actually want to make some progress maybe okay so we got uh, this guy he's like I love trains don't you uh, a lot more fun to watch when they're moving yeah I'm ruined, done for. Huge rock is blocking the way. Rolled off from the castle. And he can't make his run to Mount Rugged, so. Let's go see what everybody else is saying. Mario, you a good supply of items, don't you? Yeah. I really probably should listen to this person and go back to the store and actually buy some stuff, but I'm not going to. Can't work because Peach's castle flew away. I'm going on a long trip. And they're all like, oh man, let's go on a road trip. It's going to be so much fun. Anyways, I'm uh, not one to let ladies down. <laughs> so let's blow up this freaking rock and yeah. <laughs> and this train is bound for Mount Rugged. Are you coming, Mario? Hell, yes, I am. So let's just get on the train and we are off. Let's start up chapter two, guys. Chapter two is honestly one of my favorite chapters in actually any like Mario RPG it's just I, I really like the desert setting and I don't know the whole like mysteriousness of the ruins and of dry dry outposts is just really cool let's listen to the awesome music for a second Anyways, yeah, that little thing could go on for a long time. Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, I think that little train cutscene actually goes on infinitely, I'm not sure, but you can pretty much end it at any time if you press A. I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, but yeah. Alright, let's get off here. It says, Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged. I should proceed directly over Mount Rugged. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's quickly save our game, and I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So, uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Paper Mario, and I will see you guys next time.